Hey, hey, your A's are getting louder. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome out to Third World Linux, episode 51. 51. Firefox extravaganza, according to Joe. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. You, you said you were switching to Firefox, so... No, yeah, for a week. For a week. Okay, yeah. And um, uh, along those lines, I was able to get somebody to switch to Midori, so... Yeah. A win for open source. Does OSX have Midori? Not sure, but like, uh, this person was on Windows, so there. I think it has Midori. I'm not sure. I don't want to look it up because my internet is unstable right now. (laughs) But yeah, there's, there is, uh, Midori on Windows. I I know that for a fact because I was able to get somebody on Midori. So yay for. But before we begin, before we move further, my dear co-host, uh, we should introduce ourselves. Oh, yeah, I keep Have on we forgetting. Have introduced ourselves already? Uh, no, I'm, yeah. I'm Jao. Yeah, my name's AJ, and this is Third World with Linux, where we talk about Linux in the third world. <laughs> Doesn't help. Like, our experiences and things, and how we... Ah, you know, third world Linux, it's the title. <laughs> should we got, probably should get it. Yeah, our lives in the third world, but, you know, we... In the context of, uh, uh like in, the, Linux, in the context of Linux. Know. Or open source and other related technologies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because we like open source stuff, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. so uh, begin topic with... Topic at hand right now. Right. Yeah. Uh, do, you have any, uh, uh, do you have any other thing you want to add or anything? Uh, yeah, listener feedback. Just uh, like some ahead. really quick listener feedback. Uh, on Google. Go ahead. Uh, on Google Plus, this guy named Ocelot, because we have to pronounce it like... Um, because apparently he speaks Nahuatl or something, which is one of those cool languages. But anyway, uh, Aztec, Mexica. Uh, anyway, he's, he he asks, um, how oh, are well, you're the linguist. Yeah, um, he 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 was asking, uh, how are the Firefox OS phones working out? Um, and he read a rather apt and kind of obvious comparison between Firefox OS and Chrome OS. Do we think that ah. it's a good comparison? Again, it's a nice listen. So, uh, thank you, Ocelot. Um, uh, I, I don't, I don't think so though, because like Firefox OS, um, when it comes to the Google line of products is more comparable to Android one because they're, yeah, yeah yes, right? yes, because Android one is going for the same market segment. Um, but then I agree. Uh, Firefox OS and Chrome OS are similar in that they're both like web native, but other than that, mm-hmm. they're going in fairly different directions. So there we go. And, um, because we're talking about Firefox transition. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to just to, you know, try, uh, as always, what I, what we always do here in the show, third room Linux and with our Linux lives to, Constantly try things out, tweak is this, tweak that. One of the things I want to do this week is to try out, uh, Firefox, the browser. I mean, I've used it before. I mean, seriously, come on. Like, <laughs> way back when, but when Google Chrome came out and the Omni bar is just amazing. Mm-hmm. So I stuck to it ever since. And you know that, like, ever since I was like, uh, Google guy. And then I realized I'm giving too much information. And hey, I'm using a Firefox OS phone. Why not? <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's the privacy thing? Like, I'm not, no, I have no idea. Just change of browser, I guess. It's not even, let's see. Like, <laughs> uh, what's that feeling when you just want to expand your horizons? Uh, yeah. The, 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 yeah, the, that, that, the that westward feeling. expansion. <laughs> yeah. Even though Firefox was first in the market. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. I'm not, I'm not really uh, sure. I, I, Probably I, I, privacy. I don't know how to tweak mine yet. Uh, I don't know how to set it up properly yet. The first thing I did is actually, um, this morning was, uh, familiar, like, familiarize with myself with the UI, which is fairly simple. And, mm-hmm. uh, I have to unlearn the Omnibar a bit. Because when you do the search in Google, the URL is like, ooh, blah, 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 and then auto searches. Uh, Firefox doesn't do that, but there's a dedicated search bar anyway. Really? Like, hmm. um, I, I have 
my Firefox browser is set to like search. Yeah, I, I will. I I have I have tried to tinker on that because the first thing I did was extensions. Others would probably move or migrate their bookmarks. I'm not a bookmark kind of guy. Bookmark for me is my bookmarks in in Chrome. Oh my god. <laughs> Freaking disorganizes all hell. So what I did is just, um, it's a mess. So I don't really use my bookmarks. But what I usually, what I always use is Pocket. Mm. And yeah, like one of my re- most recommended best apps, Life Changer. Uh, Pocket. So there's a Pocket extension. There's a readability extension. It's, it's not named readabil- readability. It's named a different thing. So I use that and I'm looking for my other extensions like Feedly for my RSS. Mm-hmm. But, but so far, I don't see any noticeable change in speed. If there is probably minor, it's very minor that I don't really notice it because I haven't done a speed test. Uh, and, uh, yeah. and again, the fastest browser for me for some weird reason is Midori, right? Like it's the fastest thing that ever worked for me. Hmm. Uh, there, Wait, wait, wait. So, like, what what I have on my Firefox browser is like where you're supposed to type the URL. Mm-hmm. That's that that also doubles as a search bar or search box or whatever. Like, I set it to search DuckDuckGo. Hmm. Uh, I probably should should switch mine to DuckDuckGo as well. I haven't I haven't uh, really. I haven't really tweet anything aside from bookmarks. That's why, again, we're going to have this episode because I want to ask <laughs> what else do I need to do? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, um, my Firefox setup is pretty much like, it's, it's pretty vanilla. Like, I, I don't mm-hmm. really use too many bookmarks, uh, you know, on, you know, my preferences. Search engine defaults to DuckDuckGo. Uh, mm-hmm. usual stuff. Um, always ask where to save downloaded files. Ah, okay. Uh, that's really it. Dude. I mean, Pretty like, much it. <laughs> like I, I don't, I, I don't have too many like plugins and stuff other than say like the ones that come packaged with, uh, like GNOME, for example. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, there's like a Firefox extension that GNOME uses uh, so that you can get, what are they called? So that you can get the GNOME extension, no, Fire, Firefox plugins to get GNOME extensions or something like that. But like other than that, it's like really vanilla because, you know, I'm, I'm lazy like that. Huh. You know, yeah, you're not the tweaker. When it comes to my web browser, no. <laughs> when it comes to like everything else on the system, the minutia is there. Like, <laughs> like I have to have my terminal working just right, you know. <laughs> what else? I'm right in front. Like, there's sync. Uh, yeah, that's something I haven't done yet. Is freaking sync. Uh, I haven't made a Firefox actually, you account. Wanna, you don't need one though. <laughs> yeah, that's. I think that's the beauty of it. I don't need one. I removed the search bar right now. I only have a search for enter address. Yeah, because that's like that. That that's the search. Mm-hmm. That's what it the uses om- my search. Yeah, I made it. I made it look like. Yeah, I made it look like it's an omnibar. The full screen tools. Where do you switch that thing? Like the search. Uh, preferences. Hamburger menu. Preferences. Yeah. <laughs> hamburger menu. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can. Uh, you can press Alt to get to that, uh, what was it called? Like your little bar file, mm-hmm. file edit, view history, bookmarks, tools, etc. Like I'm not sure if that's, um, just a Firefox thing or if it's on Chrome because like I, I don't use Chromium. Uh, but yeah, if you want to get your toolbar, like just press Alt. Mm, privacy, location bar. Uh, why did I say privacy? <laughs> Should be privacy. I'm not British. Been watching, uh, what's his name? Been watching Yahtzee. No, I actually haven't watched the two, past two episodes. Okay. Hmm. I wonder 
you know, now, now that you're like taking mm. the time to tweak your browser, I'm starting to yeah. look into what I have. Your browser as <laughs> <Yeah>. well. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Firefox health report. Oh, crash report mm. there. Hmm. Should turn that off. Or on. I, I don't know. Or keep it on. Okay. Uh, cached web content. <laughs> Very compelling podcast. <laughs> I know. We're just tweaking our <laughs> browsers. Uh, we probably should have, uh, like, um, since we're here, uh, this, we're at this part of the podcast. What we want is to give us tips. How do you use your Firefox? Or hell, if you're a Chrome user, how do you use your Chrome user? Like, do you have any recommended plugins or extensions? Because personally, I, I consider myself a medium user, not a power user when it comes to browsing. Like, again, I don't use, uh, bookmarks a lot. I just have two plugins or three plugins. Actually, I have a, a, a no, um, Actually, in Chrome, I actually have a bunch of plugins that do, like, special things. When I do a Google search, it's improved search, like, infinite scrolling, and then it has a preview of the next website. Some of those performance tweaks. But for Firefox, I have no idea how to do that. Right, so I'm checking out, like, the add-ons that I have. Apparently, the extensions on here are the Ubuntu Firefox pack. Um, I'm on the... Default theme, H264 codec plugin slash Google Talk, <laughs> and um, ooh, the South African English language pack because Ubuntu. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is nifty. Now I have DuckDuckGo, but it's not the main Omnibar type of thing. Just uh, what do I need to search in DuckDuckGo? Let's see if my website that I'm working on. <laughs> Compelling podcast, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't really know, though, why I suddenly had the urge to go Firefox, aside from, aside from, you know, just trying out Firefox and try to be a good use of Firefox. Like, I'm sure privacy, but hey, I need to set it up for a bit. Uh, somebody that's, that, that has this weird fascination with web browsers is Paulo. Like, he's, right. uh, he has like six, seven web browsers that he has like on his computer. What for? I have no idea. Like, we were, we were picking on him on, um, <laughs> we, we, we were picking on him, uh, on the Bodega Nights two weeks ago. No, four yeah. weeks ago. Right? Like, he has six web browsers running or whatever. I'm like, what? I have no idea why you do that, but, you know. And as is usual with Paolo, he doesn't give very much of a logical explanation. Hoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give much of a hoot. But then again, you know, it makes him happy <laughs> to have several browsers at once. Uh, I guess another thing I have to watch out for is how it's going to integrate well with my phone. Uh, right, right. I, I, I guess? <laughs> if, if it will even integrate well with my phone. Because I am not a power user of my phone. It's pretty much just for call and text because it's too sluggish. Right, like with and with I <laughs> hear noises at the backyard again. Huh. Either cats or burglars. I thought <laughs> I, I thought they smoked them out. Shout out to the Bodega Nights episode last week. <laughs> Not sure. Could be burglars. I'll check later. <laughs> I haven't really been using my Firefox OS phone because, like, um, it feels impossible to be a power user. For of that hardware, yeah, I, I, I of that I, hardware. It, it's not, it's not the f- OS fault of the hardware. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you you got like a you got like an email from Firefox from the Firefox OS people here, right? Yeah, yeah. Like a survey. How do you use your Firefox? You answered it over the scathing. I think I think we talked about this like on an update episode four or five episodes ago. We did. But yeah, yeah. I, I talk about that. Uh, okay. If not, hey, here am I talking about it now. So yeah, Firefox, I, I remember reading it like, like, like you texted me or something, but like, okay. I think during our, um, Firefox review. Well, anyway. On the third world of Firefox on our review. Anyway, well, <laughs> here's a quick, quick gist. I, uh, they wrote an email, uh, Firefox Philippines, the lo- local, um, I thought they were only doing localization projects, the local Firefox team. 
Uh, it turns out what they do also is check on a Firefox OS usage. So they ask a survey, do you have a Firefox OS phone? How are you using it? How do you think about it? What about the hardware? So I pretty much wrote a, a very scathing review. <laughs> of the hardware. Yeah. Wait a second. I really have to check this because it's just been a constant moment. Oh, well, never mind. Fuck it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, a very scathing review of the hardware, and then I addressed some problems of how I think the software could be issued. Like, my number one priori- uh, priority was no apps, no users. Right. The practical apps that people use needs to exist. We have no choice. Like, we are now at that part of the market where the apps that people use are leveling. Like, you have, need to have your Facebooks, your Gmails, your, your Instagrams. Twitter, yeah, there's a Twitter and Facebook app, but like, <laughs> the, the, uh, um, let's call this your ways and other things, but yeah, I mean, that's why you had that reaction to the Facebook and Twitter app, because like, huh, <laughs> of how it looks like and how it performs. Facebooking. It, it feels like it's 1997. Yeah, it, exactly. And Facebook wasn't around during 1997. <laughs> <laughs> but the website has it loads on the phone, feels like that. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure my experience with Firefox would be the same. Well, the Firefox browser would be the same as that. Oh man, Firefox. I really love Firefox, like, because of the nature of, like, the company, you know? Uh, even though, like, one of our friends has an issue yeah. with Firefox and their firing of that, uh, CEO or whatever. Why? But you Is know, it, like, I, I didn't really follow on the issue. I really didn't follow on the issue. What was it about? Uh, the, one of their, but their, their CEO, or the person mm-hmm. that they hired as their CEO or something, made a sizable donation to a group that was anti-gay marriage, and and the internet went. Crazy. As, you, as per usual, always. Yep. For any issue. <laughs> yeah, and so the guy, like, resigned or whatever. Mm. And well, he resigned, so what's the problem? Uh, because there were rumors that Firefox was, uh, like, pressuring, like, the company was pressuring him to resign or something like that. But then, like, Firefox's counter argument was, uh, it's, it's a very American centric, like idea that um, you were to be angry at somebody who doesn't support gay marriage. What about the users in Indonesia, for example, who are very staunchly Muslim? Uh, there is like, is, is it, um, is it morally permissible to disregard the uh, religious beliefs of um, our Muslim brothers and sisters in Indonesia when um, they would rather have somebody that is against gay marriage. But then, you know, it's water under the bridge because the guy resigned. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because he probably like, well, if this is the reason why they're mad, why am I working here? It's probably his reaction, right? Yeah, but then he was like one of the best technical minds in Firefox at the time. So he uh, went back to doing technical stuff. Um, yeah. No, he's still in Firefox. I think so. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know what the issue is. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's the um, it's it's that uh, it's 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 one of those things, right? Like, to to us in the sort of open source world, it's pretty much a meritocracy, right? Like, um, yeah. you're you're it's it's, it's got to be based on your technical skill, blah blah blah. But then to society at large, uh, it's also your personality. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because uh because like it's it's that thing where you are a representation of, you know, but yeah, I get right? it. Like that thing where developers that's why people hate don't, Mayweather. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, Mayweather. <laughs> yeah, that's why people hate LeBron, people hate Mayweather because as much as great athletes as they are, they're D-bags. Yes. They're so much like yeah. that. So that's uh that's that was Firefox's recent um, controversy. And that was like, what, last year? So, <laughs> you know, other than that, <laughs> good browsers. 
Yeah, man. Fucking based off of, uh, what was it? Based on Netscape. See, that, that's the thing, right? Everybody has, like, this whole, um, everybody has this whole, like, Netscape for life thing. I'm not even sure if that's, you know, like, like people have these, these, uh, Staunch feelings of nostalgia, mm. right? Like, n- nostalgia for the Netscape navigator. Uh, if, like, like, you can draw a straight line from Netscape navigator to Firefox, to the Firefox browser, because, uh, Firefox was sort of built on Netscape in a way, right? Like, after Netscape open sourced their browser, um, it was picked up by the guys that eventually became Firefox. Uh, yeah, so they had, but then, you know, it, it, it isn't, it, it's, it's a totally different code base now, but like, at the time, it was like, ooh, Netscape, so. Yeah, I yeah. remember using Firefox at the early aughts because, um, the IT guy in, uh, what do you call it that? The IT guy in Pop's office was, introduced me to, to Netscape, uh, Netscape, to Firefox. <laughs> that was like 2000 something, early 2000s, man. Yeah, because, because at the time, like, the only thing we really had was Internet Explorer. Yeah. That's why even and before was I was Internet always Explorer hunting version. for Firefox. Yeah. And that Internet Explorer version that came with XP, which was what, IE6 or something? And <laughs> what was it? IE5 or IE6? Which was apparently, like, one of the worst Internet Explorers ever because th- of yeah. all of the security not, holes not, in it. Not like so. 9? Yeah, except not un- unlike this nine, mm. where it's actually usable, <laughs> and Microsoft is killing it. <laughs> like, okay, <sighs> no, yeah, no, not not killing it in like the way that Big D and the kids table killed it on their like set that excellent you know, like, shows. Yeah, <laughs> killing it in, like <laughs> killed <it>. actually <laughs> removing it from existence. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that, that's another. Um, that's another. Br- another browser that has its uh, roots sort of in Netscape. Like Internet Explorer apparently also drew some inspiration from Netscape when they open source their browser or something. Now I'm actually inspired as I do this. Like, all right, for this week I'm gonna do Google. Cr- um, yeah, Firefox. Let's see if I'm gonna stay for next week. I don't want to use Internet Explorer, but... <laughs> use Internet Explorer under let's, wine. Midori? Probably. Let, let's Midori, try Midori yeah. first. Uh, another web like browser. That. And let's oh, see. Yeah. Let me see, like, what, what would be the third wordable of all those browsers? And I have really slow internet right now. Like, an average 0. 0.8. Um, That's what it. What are the other browsers? 0. 0. 0.8 down. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, um, there was one time when, when freaking, what do you call that? Norm and Miko and everyone was like, oh, use Rocket Melt. And oh, when I use yeah, Rocket, Rocket Melt, Melt, that was a thing. <laughs> notifications, notifications everywhere. Um, there's this web browser called Dillo or Dillio or whatever. D-I-L-L-O. Mm-hmm. Like I tried, I, I tried it out because it was like really light. Like super minimal. And? Oh yeah, you you have a penchant for something that's intensely minimal. Yeah, it um, it four twenty KB. Ah, damn son. There, Dillo looks like something that was made in the nineties. Like, love it. <laughs> yeah, you would probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm loving DuckDuckGo right now. Uh, what were the other? What are the other web browsers that I've used? Um, Sombrero. I've used Sombrero. With an oh X. I got Sombrero. <laughs> X-O-M-Brero. Yeah, Sombrero is good. Sombrero. <laughs> um, for kicks, I've used Lynx, but then, you know, like that's a command line only browser. Um, uh, what's it? I, I installed, uh, Debian Sid, right? And, uh, the awesome window manager and, um, the web browser that it comes with, if you install like a minimal Debian is W3M, which is kind of tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's, uh, command liney. Oh. Uh, what else? What were the other cool web browsers out there? Um, 
Uh, Gnome's web browser is is also pretty pretty good. Uh, they're calling it web. Forgot what it was called before though. <laughs> Uh, for now, I'm gonna try Firefox because like it's one of the top browsers, How's and that? use DuckDuckGo from now on. <laughs> yeah, dude, DuckDuckGo for the win. <laughs> yeah, DuckDuckGo for the win. So uh, that's it. Yeah, if you have any recommendations of what we should do, how we should tweak it, um, send them over at um, twitter.com/slash Third World Linux. Uh, drop us a comment or whatever in at channel14.com. Like Megamus Maximus. Shout out to that guy. Cause he yep. told us to play Call of Duty. Uh, on Google Plus. Support the show by, uh, going through our website, child14.com and clicking on the Amazon affiliate links and buying stuff on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, and subscribe to our YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. Because the third world gaming guys are doing a lot of work there. Yeah, you're doing a lot of work right now and it's gonna have fun stuff. What's it's they, gonna have a lot of fun stuff. They put out a, uh, they put out their let's plays every Friday, and oh, they have a schedule now. Oh, nice. Yeah. At least they, at least there's a schedule now. Yeah, they put them out every Friday. Uh, for the podcasts, we put them out on YouTube as well. Um, uh, alternating Mondays, Bodega Nights, uh, Third World Linux, Bodega Nights, Third World Linux, and it's a week after we put them out on the RSS feeds. So you know. Uh, all right. Yeah. So, uh, channel14.com. Contact the channel14.com if you want to just send us an email. All right. Thanks. We'll see what uh, happens in this Firefox episode or Firefox week. Cheers, everyone. So if you made it this far, this is the off-tangent section. Hey, uh, board games, am I right? Oh, dude. <laughs> Did you guys go to Dice and Dine, or whatever the name of that place yes, is? Yes, amazing It's place. a great place, right? It's a great place. Yeah, you have your Uber nerds here and there wearing costumes and steampunk, but hey, you know. Uh, it's a great place, that's all I can say. Uh, <laughs> like, like, we the went is there, really um, nice. <laughs> yeah. We went there around 7, we left it around 1. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I was there with, like, Nikki and her friends, uh, we started at around 1, and they left around 10 <laughs> or something. Like, <laughs> like, and then probably ordered a bunch of the tea, right? Yeah, that tea is so good. And yeah, because um, John got addicted into playing Pandemic, like, we have to cure Earth's diseases. <laughs> God, dude, Pandemic is such a good game. Yeah, John got into it. He really got into it. Like, I wasn't expecting him to be into it. Cause, like, I was expecting him to do something with, like, political, a political game. Say, uh, Dead of Winter or, or, you know, he was into Resistance a lot. But, like, oh, Resistance. I didn't know he got, yeah. And then we also played Munchkin, but apparently we, we were so low energy. Cause it's like, it's, we played, Munchkin around 12 in the evening. So we were low energy mm-hmm. and we were so slow and thinking like, and, and Munchkin for it to be fun. Like, you, it, you have to be a bit fast. Yeah. Cause, cause when, like, what happens is, okay, this is my move. Anybody want to respond? We're going to look into our cards. Cause like, when we were sluggish, it's 12 in the evening. <laughs> I should, um, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just get a notebook. That way I can mm-hmm. list down like what we talked about. That way we can like have a proper link dump. No, you want to do a link dump for the off tangent section? Yeah, we got, we, we did give a shout out to Dice and Dine, so. Might as well. Yeah. Do they- yeah, let's give a shout out to Dice and Dine. Uh, there's, I think you're in Cebu. They have like a, there's also like this nice little board game cafe. Mm-hmm. But then like Kenji, Buddy Kenji has like a bunch of games anyway, so like it doesn't really. <laughs> we don't really go to it. <laughs> right. I, I sincerely want to play Dead of Winter, man. It's just that, uh, girl, for this Saturday, I want to ask the boys, because apparently Dyson Dine has Dead of Winter. And, uh, and how am I going to sell it to my girlfriend? Board games. <laughs> Aha, it, it was my. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Aha, my girlfriend brought what? me there. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
<laughs> but, How am I gonna sell it to my girlfriend? What? Um, uh, play Dixit. Like everybody plays Dixit. Uh, but that that's like a good game to get people. Yeah, to warm up things. Right. Be like Dixit. Dixit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I was like. Yeah. I was actually I actually want to tell everyone like when we go to a next board game session like let's start off with a very light game yeah Munchkin or or Dixit and there's another thing the dragons I forgot then let's jump to pandemic <laughs> then work like, your way to pandemic yeah two to three sessions of pandemic and then let's go for something big like Dead of Winter or or um, something heavy like one of them that lasts a long time. Mm. Or, or, what do you call that? The train? Uh, ticket to ride? <laughs> the, the games that take a long time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> Cards Against Humanity. But they only but have the basics. We are gonna tweak though. our own, yeah. They only have the basic set. No, they have the long one. The extended set, if I'm not mistaken. But, I mean, there's so many other board games there. We all usually play Cards Against Humanity all the time. So it's like, we can skip on that. Let's ha- let's play games that we don't have access to. Yeah, yeah. Like they have a Munchkin Cthulhu edition. Like, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's play that. Hmm. Oh man, that was a really good. That that was like a really good day when we when we went there. It's a lot of resistance. Well, resistance. Uh, what was? No, the- you guys played resistance. Avalon. Yeah, Avalon. We played Avalon. Uh, um, it's a lot more complicated, but you know. Resistance yeah. is simpler. Uh, wait, have you played like the full resistance with like the cards in, uh, with the, uh, yes. like with the expansion? Yes. I found that more complicated than Avalon. Really? I found yeah. Avalon more complicated. Well, with Merlin? But then again, I'm not good at those games, man. Merlin? I'm not good at those games. I am Spartacus. <laughs> I am not good at those games. Those like you have to lie. Ugh. Or, uh, I always like board games where it's co-op. Yeah, uh, like you against the game. Yeah, the the, the guy that, that um not Castle Rush, Castle Rush or Goblin Rush. I want to play that as well. Was the the guy that made Pandemic? He's he's got like a number of other games that Who are, that that are co- yeah. uh, cooperative. Uh, Dead Island or something, something like that. Monkey? No, De- I think it's called Dead Island. It's it's pretty much like Pandemic, except like you're on an island and trying not to die. Sort of like a grown-up version of the boat is sinking. Group yourselves into three. Yeah, but I want to play Dead of Winter because I know it's going to be like a Walking Dead simulator. Yeah, that's what I want to sell to my girlfriend. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, like, you want like you love the TV show. Here, let's put ourselves into a board game that pretty much simulates the show. <laughs> and zombie games. No. Oh. Yeah, but I'm I'm I'm. Uh, uh, there's so many zombie games. I really want to play Battlestar Galactica, actually, but according to John, it takes a long time to set up. Ah, oh, lame. And there's a, yeah, very steep learning curve. You don't want to play Monopoly with you guys. I don't want to play Monopoly. Monopoly's... Oh, my God. I don't like Monopoly. Well, the, the, the thing about Monopoly is that it's such a it's such a boring game, but, like, but like the moment you start dealing, it becomes a little more interesting. Like, hey, I'll trade that's you. That's why I... You know. That's for me, that's why I prefer Catan. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because Catan is also the same. Yeah, Catan is also the same level, but you have to strategize at the front and you're not under the die, pretty much. Your, your life doesn't rely on the die. Mm-hmm. The luck of the die. Oh, speaking of dice, uh, there was this, um, oh man, what, what was the name of T- table, Tabletop with Will Wheaton on, Zombie dice, geek and sundry. No, um, the most recent episode uh, is like it, the, the the game. I think it's like a zombie sort of thing as well as falling asleep. Mm. But I oh, know, all right, probably different. I'll I'll check it out later. Yeah, but what was interesting about it was instead of dice, um, you have like a a Jenga tower. Oh, right, and if if you're the guy that happens to topple the thing over like you're dead for the scenario Ooh. so it's sort of it's, it's sort of tabletopy but then you know it's, it's got like it's got like an rpg element mm-hmm. to it like you need a dm that sort of thing but i found that that i found that mechanic like really interesting like you use a jenga tower yeah yeah no, oh, i just want to go back to dice and dice <laughs> 
Seriously, I want it to be our new COD. Yeah. Since we don't have, yeah. Uh, board game. I'm, I'm sure you know. I'll, I'll find a way because I want to go with the Saturday, but the girlfriend doesn't want to because apparently she just wants to spend time together. Blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <coughs> so bad. No, I mean it's not bad. Like, we're gonna meet up in the early. Mo- we're gonna meet. No, we're gonna meet up around ten in the morning. Oh man. Uh, uh, it's, we're gonna meet up at ten in the morning and probably have meet up with the others at around what seven or six. Yeah. So we're gonna have an entire morning and an entire afternoon. So I don't know. I just uh, it's so hard to get out of the house right now these days. So I don't know. I'm probably just frustrated. Like I want to hit. Three stones in one throw. Or in dice terms, you with my three dice up. rolls, I would hit all sixes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all okay. sixes in three rolls. Critical yeah. hit. Yeah, pretty much want to do that every time I go out because, like, freaking eight, it's hard to get out of the house these days. Well, you know, I'm going to be in Manila in, like, a couple of weeks. So, you know, shit. We're probably just going to go there straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty much. That's what I'm gonna tell everyone. Hey, dead of winter, or I scared the world's disease. <laughs> Pandemic, oh my god. But I, I was really surprised how John was really into it. That <laughs> nihilistic son of a bitch, dude. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what's it? Uh, Pandemic is the best way to, like, get yourself depressed. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> like when you play Pandemic, like, you're, you are going to get depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. When I, I think like the last time I played Pandemic was like, yeah. But then again, my role when during your first round was I was a healer. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry. So pretty much go to places and, oh, all the disease blocks are gone. And then the second, on our second playthrough, my role was quarantine officer. Mm. So like every time I move to this place, ha, ah, they're immune. You can't place blocks. So I pretty much feel good. Yeah. Did you guys actually win? No, not yet. <laughs> In the two rounds we played, not yet. I've never won a game of the, of the board game pandemic. I've never won. But with the video game pandemic and its other equivalents like Virus Inc. Not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've I've won those games. Okay, because it's easier. You're the virus. You just have to infect everyone. Like make your disease underground, <laughs> like uh high high transfer rate but low lethal rate. And once you get Madagascar, you're pretty much gonna win. Mm. <laughs> but uh yeah, for me uh oh, and I wanna play if Norm's gonna be there. I'm not sure if Dice and Nine has it. I wanna play Sheriff of Nottingham with Norm. So I just want to see if he's going to accumulate all the money. <laughs> uh, man. Or any game with money accumulation. Like, yeah. Monopoly. The ride or <laughs> <laughs> Monopoly. I mean, it's going to be... If all, it's going to be a weird game if it's Norm is involved. Like, this guy just broke sales records being one month in his job. In his job. He already broke sales records. So what more freaking board game? Oh, uh, well... So I wanna, if, if there's a board game I wanna create, I wanna create a Wall Street Simulator board game. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but I know that, uh, every end of the round, there is a crisis card. Hmm. Like, uh, a crisis deck, like, oh, this is the current financial situation in the world, uh, oil has increased, and, and blah, 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 and this market is getting hit, so you have to check your, like, investments. Wall Street Simulator. <laughs> but the problem with that, though, is that what? um there is no win condition. Hmm? There is no win condition. Uh, win condition is either you have to have... It depends on the scenario you, you want to play. Have, like, ten rounds, and who gets, gets the most money wins. Or whoever lasts longer, the longest. Like, Monopoly, whoever lasts longest wins. Or, um... You could put, what do you call this? Each, each Wall Street broker or Wall Street Pro. That's the name of the game, Wall Street Pro. Uh, <laughs> each Wall Street Pro has, uh, what do you call this? A scenario card that you have to fulfill. Oh. Like three requirements. Like yeah, three yeah, requirements. Yeah. Make sure your oil, so that everyone has to compete for a resource. 
Like, make sure you have your oil at this level, uh, oil stocks at this level, and say, uh, brick nations are number one economy in the world, and your third requirement is to lower China's production, or something like that. So you're going to be like an economic so game man. Oh, well, that's pretty, that's actually geopolitics instead of <laughs> actual stock market. Yeah. So dude. it's more of UN simulator, geopolitical simulator. That's another game, actually, that like, oh, that's the expansion. <laughs> well, like the, the geopolitics simulator? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's like Endgame Syria, but Dude, these, yeah, are, now these are all like games that have no, no long term like viable win condition, like like ever since. No, the just US have, stopped, that's why you have you to know. have a scenario. Well, yeah, yeah, that's why you just have to have a scenario. That's why that again, if you're gonna go to the Wall Street or like real estate simulator, nah, let's call it Wall Street Pro. Like you just need to have a scenario, like accumulate this amount of stock for seven companies. And bankrupt, forcibly bankrupt two opponents. China. <laughs> Stuff like that. Like, yeah. Cause, uh, I just want everyone, like, I, I just want the boys, I could see the boys and everyone's just like spouting Wall Street quotes or Wolf of Wall Street <laughs> or our favorite Glen Gary, Glen Ross. <laughs> Always be closing. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> It's for winners. I have coffee is for closers. Uh. But yeah, uh, when are you gonna get here specifically? Because I want us to, yeah, let's do your idea of a NBA, what do you call that? An NBA <laughs> let's play. I'll be there on. there like like when are you gonna be here i'm gonna be there and then cut <laughs> <laughs> all right stopping stop recording <laughs>